Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're continuing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time we uh, got a new king, and uh, as far as I remember, there was an attack going on, so we're gonna go there. Let's get into it. Chelbert. Alright, so we're in Repton, and now we gotta... Oh no. Survey the area soon. We gotta find the... King's son. Have you seen Chalbert? No, but we caught sight of Leofi fleeing Try across the fight. river. He's chasing something. It has to be Chalbert. He's the only bride worth taking in this mud sink. Okay, so we gotta go. This way. And we gotta meet at the same time. <laughs> uh. I mean, there are people down, so I gotta help. this guy Jailbeard he's in trouble what the fuck down there I will not don't make this harder than it has to be please you do not want to do this Leo let's go let him walk you answer to me I answer to my king our silence deeds with this Lay it by, Leofrit. There's nothing left to fight for. We stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. It's not me. You can't win this, Leofrit. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. Come on. You're slowing. Bah. You're a strong little thing. Burgrid was lucky. To start in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. Go. 
Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to serve Vulgrin to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Hmm. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Oh, man. I want to be honest, but at the same time, you have that whole Viking mentality, like, give him the warrior's death type of thing. Um, I feel like, nah, he should know. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. Really? At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. <laughs> He's going for the previous king. Come on. Let's take you back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Trailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. You did. You show courage today. Bravery. For a boy no longer. Back nah, there with Not Leif. recruiting right now. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You're right about him, Chelbert. I'm right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Let's go. Jailbirds! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. The honor well enough. Day fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. 
What happens now? What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheobert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Atherling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. <laughs> Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. <laughs> well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our oh. friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. There. That's the statue the zealots use. There we go. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those salads off my back. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sumbi. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. You'll be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. There I have to go. go. See you soon. Okay, let's get to Randvi. Randvi. And see what she wants. Should have a feast. Morale boost. Nice. <laughs> ah, a new letter. Letter from Soma. Eivor, you entered my mind today. I was thinking about how I felt when I lost Grant Bridge. The anger, the doubt. You helped me reclaim my city, but you did more than that. You helped me reclaim the, uh, what I had lost in myself. Today, my people, my city, they are stronger than they've ever been. And I am a proud leader once more. Soma. Nice. The 
Let's see what Ron Reese says. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. <laughs> oh, really? Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Yeah. Another ally. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Shailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. <laughs> then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. For all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandabrich have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened oh, the ties so, of... You so seat yourself angry. as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Uh, Sigurd would celebrate my achievements. I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. And silence deck. I've never claimed to be his equal. I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. But I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, deck. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And He's may so all of better. you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Ooh. Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. He's such... With me! Oh, he's annoying. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. I'm not here to replace you. Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randy? Okay. 
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Hmm. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Oh. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. <sighs> Shit. In one way... I want to kill him. Because he did what he did. But, at the same time, it could be smart sending him there... ...and shake things up. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him, we will find... Oh, Jesus. To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Man. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... There's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? 
No, they're hurt and badly. Take me to them. Okay. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. We better be. Come on, Knut. Come on, Eivor! Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. The children must have missed you, poor fellow. Or they might be singing a different song. It looks like something attacked you. An animal. No key here. I should look around. Shane Wallace isn't here to butcher you. But I need to see if you're carrying a key. Yep. The pig was... I'll free that wolf and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. Never made it home. At least his end came quickly. Okay. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes! You freed her! You're amazing, Eivor! But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. <laughs> all of you. In future. You should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. Yeah. That is not quite how it works. <laughs> oh, more wolves! And not our new Stand back! <laughs> Ugh. 
Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. And not me. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. <sighs> no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? <laughs> Chewy. Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, <laughs> have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. No. <laughs> perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, He's everywhere. Now, home and take your new friend with you. Oh, yeah, I got distracted by the kid, but I was on my way into Renvy's little office to see. Good day, Eivor. Eivor, good... Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Hmm... Yeah, I should go over here, because the power I'm at does not line up with these two, so. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes, Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. Alright, that was an eventful uh, episode. Um, yeah, we uh, got back to uh, our base. And uh, we got attacked, and now we pledged to go to East Anglia next. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens there. I figure we do that next time, and uh, we'll talk to the steward then. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.